Welcome back. Tom and I are talking on one of the uh, the last days of summer here, it looks like, huh? It's beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. We're talking about NHL 2K9 for the Nintendo Wii. This is the only NHL game, uh, you know, kind of sim-style NHL game that you're going to be able to play this year. Uh, for 2K Sports, they were pretty strongly positioning themselves as a Wii supporter with this game. We already looked at the game against EA's offering on the Xbox 360 and the PS3, and it was a solid game on the uh, other consoles. What do you think about it on the Wii? Boy, I'm telling you, Wii owners are, are getting a bag of nothing this year. Yeah, they're getting stiffed a bit, It's aren't really quite possibly the ugliest Wii game I've seen in quite some time. Well, especially when you compare it to next gen. It's just not there on the Wii. No, on the Wii you get stiff as a board fans that actually look two-dimensional as the camera pans by. You get just really crappy looking player faces and, and uh, you know, cutaways where you, you get the actual player models where you just look like fish character, like yeah. fish human yeah. beings. The controls are okay. What they've done is they've kind of magnetized the nets so that every time that you take a shot with just whipping and, and flicking the uh, the Wii mode around a little bit, which I like that. I, I like physicality. The game, kind of, of gave of a nice game that way. Yeah. But every time you do it, you're on target, so you'll get a lot of cheap shots. You get a lot of goals, and there is a balance with the AI and the goalie. They will take care of you a little bit that way, but. Once you get a feel for how to beat the AI, you're gonna you're gonna beat yeah. it handily. And you're gonna be doing those those flick shots in, and you're gonna look it's so a, cheap. It's a very arcadey AI. It's very too. it's very goes yeah. straight for the net kind of hockey. The one thing I did think was clever and fun. Well, two things. They used the Wii mode and the nunchuck for the fighting when you get into the occasional fights. That was good. Fights. Absolutely. And the uh, Zamboni controls, <laughs> kind of ridiculous and clever. I like yeah. that as well. So, uh, what are you gonna give NHL 2K9? You're giving it a straight up 5.5. I'm going to give it a 5.5 as well. Right there with you. These two microphones could be used as maracas if we were silly, but we're not really that silly, are we? We're not. No. No. Although we did look silly when we played Samba de Amigo together last Wait, night. Wait, you mean Samba? <laughs> yes. Samba de Amigo. It's uh, the remake and the revisit by Gearbox. It's Somebody Amigo for the Wii. Sega brought back a beloved Dreamcast game, and it makes 100% sense on the Nintendo Wii. It really does. So let's look at, let's think about the original, okay? Yeah. So it was a set of maracas that you plugged into your Dreamcast. They yeah. were a, an additional hardware cost. They were, it was $80 to get the game with Crazy. the maracas. Yeah. Expensive, but someone had the great idea that, yeah. of, hey, we can make this game yeah. for the Wii now. Yes. And just use no the maracas. Yeah. And it actually makes sense conceptually and in certain areas when you hit those notes just right it actually makes sense physically and it makes sense like okay yeah I get this now but then every once in a while you'll be hit by this why am I not hitting those notes moments and you realize this could be a lot better this yes. game could be a lot more fun and just by a simple tuning just by the ability to make sure that every time you shake your maracas you're on those correct notes and you're not ever questioning whether there's imprecision in the technology because there is and it takes away the fun you know i'm sure gearbox worked really hard to try to make it as good as it did but it's just yeah. it's still not perfect they haven't nailed it no they haven't nailed it and maybe when they get this motion plush next year then a game like this will be perfect but it's just too bad because this is uh, it seems like a no-brainer it seems yes. like okay this is going to be an easy port over and they're going to do a good job with it hot, hot, hot. Musically, it's pretty fun. Visually, it, it's identical, pretty much to the experience of the it's Dreamcast. Like all the it's same, all widescreen it's like now. all the same songs. I think there's some new new music. Yeah, added. Rihanna's in there. Some Ricky Martin is back. Can't ever have too much Ricky They're Martin. They're adding downloadable music too for the Wii, which yeah, is, is something. Yeah, that's cool. Pay pay to play, they call it. Uh, you know, I think if you are such a huge fan for something like this, you probably will want to get more music. But well, here's the thing: when I this, have more fun on a rock band drum, man. When this game, and, th and that's exactly the point I was yeah. going to, which is when this game came out mm -hmm. eight years ago. Yeah. It was was pre Guitar Hero, pre Rock Band. It was pre sort of huge musical yes. renaissance. Yeah. And it scored very well at the time because it was unique and different. And, For and sure. it just it brought a whole sort of party atmosphere that we weren't used to at the time. We always need original. We have that now. Yes, we and do. And we have that in a bigger way with more relevant music to, that appeals to a broader group of people and with more diversified instruments. Yeah. And so you look at it now and you go, oh, it kind of feels like you're just a Morocco player in like Guitar yes. Hero yeah. or a Rock Band. You could have a whole band at home. For not too much money, that's a pretty tough challenge. So what are you giving it? Not very much. What are you going to give it? I asked you first. All right, I'm going to give it a 5.5. How about you? I'm going to give it a 6. 6. There you go.
All right, we're doing something a bit different for hardware this time. We've got uh, the new Buzz game is out for the PlayStation 3, and it can come separately if you've already got Buzz for the PS2 and you have the Buzz controllers, but we looked at the package where you get four of the wireless controllers, which are kind of fancy, Yes. and the Buzz game on the PS3, which is also kind of fancy and better looking and uh, elegant with some cool uh, online options as well. It seems like the quiz show games are kind of like coming on strong. Obviously, Microsoft yep. has a couple, and Casual and is one. king right now, man. And I get it, but like, do they have to make the characters so annoying? Do they have to Fastest make the hosts finger. and like the and, like the host bugs the hell out of me? Answer fastest, score largest. Simplicity itself. The hardware itself, though, the controllers themselves, I'm not a big fan of those. No, nope. they're better than the wired ones. I hated those wired ones on the PS2. Mm -hmm. And these are backwards compatible. And you can also play this game with the old controllers if you'd like yeah, to. Yeah. So if you don't want to, yeah. So it's totally cross compatible yep. either way. But I not a fan of the way the buttons are laid out you constantly press the wrong thing because you know they're just they're they're all exactly uniform shape if you're looking at the screen and trying to you know get up uh, press a button quicker than everybody else it's very easy to press the wrong button and it's frustrating the roots of the gameplay just like trivial pursuit and every kind of trivia type game you've ever played are solid i personally enjoy the seen it series because there's a I lot like of seen it better yeah. i like the video clips and again it's it's more i like the controllers it's, better too yeah seen it game so what are you gonna do what are you gonna give buzz buzz quiz tv for the ps3 i can't give it more than an eight that's fine, that's a solid score. I'm giving it an 8.5, and I'm recommending it. I think that uh, PS3 owners should have something like this in their library. All right, this is the one you've been waiting for. We're taking a look at Wipeout HD right after the break.